What's up guys this video from Airdrop Hub. So in this video, I'm going to review the Unichain testnet. Uniswap Labs introduced its own Ethereum Layer 2 Unichain. The new project was built using Optimism's OP stack. In this testnet, we have to do many tasks. And also you can get true testnet experience from this. Okay, let's start guys. First, Unichain network to your wallet. Open the wallet. Click on networks and click on add network. Click on add a network manually. Alright now fill the network details you can get these all details and links in this video description or visit my telegram channel. Alright, after that switch to the network. Okay, the next step is get faucets. This first faucet is not free guys. You need hold a minimum 0 0.001 ETH to get faucets from this faucet. So you can use an ETH holding wallet to get faucets, then transfer them to your Unichain wallet. Or you can use this second faucet, it's totally free guys. First sign in using an email address. After that, connect your GitHub account. Alright, now connect your wallet. Paste your wallet address. Then select Unichain Cipolia and request the faucet tokens. Alright, third step, use these bridges. For this step, you need Ethereum Cipolia. I mentioned three faucets, so you can use any one. This first and second faucets are free, but the third is not like that. After that, you can bridge Ethereum Cipolia to Unichain Cipolia using these both bridges. And I recommend to use these bridges daily. Also these faucets. Next one. Mint Zora NFT. Connect the same wallet or these. For this you need $1 worth base or ARBETH. I use the base. Get about $1.10. You can change the network from here. But I can't do it because I have only base ETH. Alright, NFT successfully minted. Fifth step, deploy a smart contract. First open this guide. You have two ways to deploy a smart contract. First is using your console. The second one is third web. So I will show both methods and you can use anyone from that but I recommend to use both methods if you can. Okay, to the first method you need to install WSL or Gitbash on your PC or you can use the GitHub web version. All these consoles are the same and I'll show through GitHub because it's easier to use for new users and everyone else. Alright, if you use the GitHub, open a blank page. Okay, all codes here on my Telegram channel. Check this post link on description so you can visit to this post via that link. I can't post this codes in description because it has a limit. Alright, you can copy these codes by clicking on it. Right? Copy the first code and paste it on the console. Install the foundry. This second and third codes are only for WSL or Git Bash. If you're using the GitHub, copy the fourth one. Fifth one, foundry up. Wait till install it. Alright, next one, Forge version. 
Okay, next enter the foundry editing code. Okay, in this page, paste this code and press Ctrl plus X, then press Y and then press enter button. Now press Ctrl plus X, Y, enter. Now clone the clone open Zeppelin. Wait till install it. Ok next, clone repository. Alright, before the deployment, copy your wallet private key. Open the wallet, and remember don't use another wallet's private key, it needs to be your Unichain testnet wallet. Ok, go to account details and copy the private key. From this point on, I need to provide the private key along with many codes. Since I can't show my private key in the video, I export it as a word. You can do this too if you want, or you can send your private key directly with the codes, but this way is easier. Type export, then type any short name you like, followed by the equal sign, and then put your wallet's private key within quotation marks. Alright, copy the hello world code. In this place, enter your private key. If you export it as a word, type it with dollar mark like this. Alright, wait till done completely. Alright guys, the contract is successfully deployed. You can check this transaction hash in Uniscan Explorer. The Explorer link is also in the post itself. Alright, you can see the contract C deployed in my wallet. Look, the wallet address is the same with the contract owner wallet address. Okay, now let's go to deploy a token. Copy the code, then update it with your private key and wallet address. Okay, let's enter it. Oh, looks something wrong. Okay, no problem. You'll also often get errors like this. If that happens, follow these steps, guys. First, check the Open Zeppelin installation. Okay, if you got an error like this, type GIT in it. Then type GIT status. Alright, now enter this both. Now, install the Open Zeppelin. Wait till installation is completed. Okay, well, now check the Open Zeppelin contract. Okay, now enter Nano Foundry code. Now, copy this code. Then paste it on this page without removing previous code. Just paste the code, then press Ctrl plus X and enter. Alright, now run the forge remappings. Now again, try to develop the token. Well, now it's working. Wait till the process ends. Alright token has been deployed. Copy this transaction hash and search it on Uniskin Explorer. You can see the token has been deployed to my wallet address. 10,000 tokens have been deployed under the name console. If you want to change the token name, I will show you how to do it. But remember, it's an optional thing. Nice. Type nano cc uniscripts slash erx20.soul. You can move the cursor using arrow keys. Then edit the token details.
All right, then press Ctrl plus X and enter. All right, now run the token deploy code again. Search again the token transaction hash in Explorer. Or you can check it from your wallet transaction history. I deployed the new token with the name of Airdrop Hub, and you can see it is shown here. Next step is, send to another address. Edit this code. Replace your private key. You can use another wallet address to receive the receiver address. and token contract address. Copy the address above the transaction hash, then replace it with code. Alright, let's send it. This will take a little bit of time. Alright, token sent, let's check it on Explorer. Okay, it's successfully done. Now the coding part has ended, guys. Next one. Deploy smart contract and NFT collection using ThreadWeb. First, go to the ThreadWeb. Log in with your same wallet. Scroll down the web page, find the NFT page, and click Deploy NFT collection. Now enter a name, symbol and image to your NFT and type something on description. Alright, then scroll down and click deploy. This may take a little bit of time. Alright, then click on the view contract. Then head to the NFT tab for mint NFTs. Alright, click mint. Enter the details to mint a NFT, like deployed NFT collection. After that, click mint. Again, mint another one NFT. Click on any one. Then get another wallet address and transfer your first NFT to it. Alright, you can see this NFT owner has changed. Okay, head to the next one. Burn this NFT. You can check this all transaction on Uniskin Explorer. Search your address and head to NFT transfers. If you did all the steps correctly, you can see it from here. And also guys, you can mint tokens and contracts using third web without coding. You can try these both options. If you use the third web, try all the features.
contract is deployed. Then head to the token mint page and mint tokens. Just enter supply to your token. Alright, now you can burn, make an airdrop, or you can transfer your tokens. I recommend trying all these features and making transactions daily. Alright guys, developer tasks are done. Next task, deploy smart contract using base mode or ERC20 on Unichain testnet in Alto Finance. Connect the same wallet. Select the Unichain, then select base or ERC20 mode. First I use a base mode, ok let's deploy. Alright now let's use the ERC20 mode. Type a name and symbol. After that click on deploy. Ok well. Next task is use Alto Bridge. Connect the same wallet. Not every token can be bridged. On the Unichain network, you can only bridge these specific tokens. For the first token, select Unichain or Sepolia. Make some bridges to these possible options. I will show one example. Alright, look, that's easy, guys. Use the Alto bridge daily also like this, both bridges. Okay. Last step, make some bridges again using Uniswap. Click the link and connect the same wallet. After that, click settings. Disable hide small balances and hide unknown tokens and NFTs. And enable testnet mode. This is Unichain's official bridge. So make transactions through this as well. Alright guys, all the steps is done. If there's anything you don't understand or doubtful, especially about the developer tasks, post it in the comment section of this video, or you can get help from our Telegram group. Okay guys, subscribe to the YouTube channel and join the Telegram channel to know more about airdrops and testnets like this. So goodbye guys, see you in the next video.